Blue got the way. It's like a big RC car. Driving to Target to get some containers to clean up the garage. Yo, okay, so the agenda right now is not to really work on this car too heavily. There's not really a whole lot left to do. Uh, I guess the pressure is a little bit different now. We're sort of in the last stretch, but as always, the last stretch is the most tedious and finicky because I have to try and track down uh, a shop that can tune this car, you know, 100%. So I'm kind of working on that. But in the meantime, uh, I just got to finish up some small stuff, I guess. And it's kind of nice not to have to, you know, wear bummy, you know, sweats like I have been for the past month. Uh, no cro uh, Crocs day either, which is pretty cool. That's a, that's a good change of pace. So my agenda today actually is not even to work on this car too much. It's over here in this pile of junk. So over the course of time, I've been taking a lot of parts off and on. And in that process, I've amassed this stuff. So I want to try and take care of this pile and do some spring cleaning, even though it's winter. And I bought this uh, stack of containers to help with the job. So yeah, that's my goal right now. I'm gonna go through this, clean this up, and make this garage a little bit more presentable. So as you guys can kind of see, I have somebody holding the camera for me again, and uh, Gio's actually back. What's up, Gio? What's up, guys? He's actually from the first episode of the AA6 build, if some of you recall. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get busy with this cleaning. All right, check it out. It's all clean, much better now. Thanks for your help, Gio. It yes, took sir. a couple hours, but it's looking much better. We have uh, stuff packed into storage containers, threw away a lot of junk. They're kind of like, you know, stored up there now on the shelves. So it's nice to have the garage a little bit more organized. Now let's go ahead and open up the new JDM packages. So I think the time has come to kind of show you guys what's inside this package right here. And this, fuck. So I think the time has come to kind of show you guys what's in this Japan package up here and this Thailand one down there. I'm pretty excited myself to see what's inside because I haven't even opened it. So let's bust out the box cutter and get to opening. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep recording or no? Uh, let me try one more. Yeah, let's end it. You're good. So first, let's open this big one from Thailand. Get the knife. All right, got the box cutter. Let's do it. All right, that's not how you, that's not the right technique, but you know what? Never said I was the best person to learn from. What could it be? What could it be? I wonder. Ooh, take a look. Pretty good packaging, huh? Not bad. No, uh, it's kind of bare, but I guess it's all it needs. Let's get this baby out. Ooh, Ooh. light. Weighs like nothing. Ooh. Here's the back. Ooh, JDM. Blue, what do you think of the seat? Huh? Blue? Blue. Get in. <laughs> okay, so this is my new old Bride Artist seat. So the shape and everything is the same as the Zetas. But as you can see here on the shoulder bracing or the bolsters, it's asymmetrical. It's full width here and it's smaller on this side. So does that mean that this is for the driver's side, JDM driver's side? Uh, technically it can kind of go both ways, but usually what Brian recommends is for the smaller bolster to be on the inside. So technically this should be on the right side because this smaller bolster will give your left hand, the shifting hand, a little bit more room to shift, but it can go either way. Like for example, if you're on the left side and your door is right there on the left, having a smaller bolster will give you some more clearance so you don't rub the door. Especially on cars like the A86 or the FD that have really tight and small cabin spaces, it should be helpful. And the reason why I wanted this seat in particular is because uh, I was pretty firm about trying to find a carbon Kevlar seat just for the uniqueness of it. Uh, I kind of wanted to stand out a little bit more and I wanted to keep it period correct with the A86. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a bride seat. Yeah, it's like, I guess, JDM, but the whole JDM thing wasn't really my uh, priority. It wasn't my main motivation. I just wanted something period correct and carbon Kevlar and this fit the bill perfectly. So ended up sourcing this out. So I'm pretty excited to put that in. Now let's go ahead and open up the other box. All right, Blue, open this for me. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a pretty awkwardly shaped package and it was all hand done by some JDM people that work for Jesse Streeter. So thanks, Jesse. Let's see if anything's damaged though, yeah? Let's <laughs> not jump to conclusions yet. 
Ooh, this thing is looking nice. What is it? This is my new uh, hood vent. So this is a TBO hood vent. If you guys don't know what TBO is, cut to that screenshot real quick. So I was looking for a solution for the hood. And after kind of looking at pictures online and stuff, I was trying to research what the best route to take is because ideally my overall goal for the aesthetics of that 240, not 240, oh my God, did I just say 240? A86 is to keep it period correct. So I came across a uh, Japanese small tuner shop company, whatever you want to call it, called TBO. And they make these style hoods. So I'll open it in a second, but these are basically some hot dog style vent hoods and they're very, very period correct. And I'll tell you why in a moment, why I only have a ducting section of it and not the whole hood. Okay, check it out. Here's the vent in its naked form. What do you think? I don't know, man. It's, it still needs to grow on me. It's a little too aggressive, but... Too aggressive? No way, man. That's yeah. where the sauce is. <laughs> That's, right? where That's where the sauce is, yeah. So, okay, uh, going back to why I was saying uh, the reason why I didn't buy the entire hood, and I just had them custom make me. I actually contacted uh, TBO in Japan, they're still around. And I said, hey, can you make me just a vent section? Because they only make this hood for Levens. And obviously I have a uh, flip up Trenno, whatever, A86. So the goal for me now is I have to go pick up a fiberglass hood, just a stock replacement fiberglass hood. And I'll have this one molded in. So I'll make myself a Trenno TBO hood. And these hot dog vents, as you can see, they look like hot dogs over here. Very, very 90s, very, very 80s kind of, right? That's called aesthetics. Pretty stoked. Now let's move on to the other packages. This is a multi-package shipment. Ooh, 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 what's this? Ooh, okay. So this one, as you know, I'll just jump to it. This is a uh, bride driver's side seat rail for that. And this one right here, it's my new work spell boss hub because the deal is, I think I'm gonna change out my steering wheel. I have a JDM uh, OEM steering wheel in there right now, but it's a little bit too thin. It's a little bit too big of a diameter for me. It looks cool, I like the style of it, but ultimately I want to go with a, uh, you know, Nardi or something like that. So, and I want a good hub to go with it. So I didn't want like a cheapo, you know, NRG. whatever. Huh? NRG. NRG or like some eBay hub. So I picked up the real deal, works boss, or works bell, sorry. So that's what this is. Toyota 521. There it is. Wow, it's pretty thick, huh? Yeah, it's a long version hub. You didn't get the slim version? Nah, because I want it kind of uh, at the right depth. Okay. So we should put it there. And my steering wheel is coming in shortly, so we'll get that installed sometime later. Probably after the car drives, honestly. And the other cool thing about Workspell hubs is uh, if you buy like a Momo hub or a Nardi hub, they have their own specific bolt patterns. It's a little bit different. They're all six bolt, but they have a different pattern, right? But this one has both the Momo and Nardi style patterns on here. So if you have a Momo wheel, if you have a Nardi wheel, slap it right on, it's easy. And in this bag should be my new or my new old bride headrest pad or pillow, whatever you want to call it. So this is the OG version, as you can tell by the logo and just basically sticks at the top of the headrest right here. Let me show you. So normal headrest, pillow, gangster, that's it. So when I found this Bryce C, I went through the process of trying to pimp it out. So I bought this pillow pad and over here, let me show you. This bag is directly from Bride because these don't come in a original version, I guess, but I bought their bolster protectors, oh, yeah. their nice. entire suite of it. And I bought the one that sits on the, the base of like the yeah. lumbar or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, and here, take a look at this picture to see what I'm talking about. So there you go. I got the OG pillow and then I have brand new bride uh, protectors Science. here and here and that one down there. Perfect. That's all it. Black. It's all pimped. That's how you do it. Let's get it going. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So peace thanks out. for us. Uh, yeah, peace out. Thanks for joining me in this unboxing effort. Hopefully it was uh, pretty fun. I think Blue enjoyed it. Didn't give me a single hand. It's all good. But uh, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.